All right, guys, today we're building the Auburn logo. Now, only way I know Auburn really is that Cam Newton went to there, uh, but it's one of the um, college collection logos that I have in this little row here, with the exception of Steph Curry. It's actually the first one. To the right of that, it's all colleges. But yeah, that's the only really knowledge I have of Auburn besides hearing its name before. Uh, also, uh, it was referenced in a play I just saw it from school. But uh, anyway, let's just get into the video. As always, please help me reach my goal, which is inspiring people to build logos on Minecraft, just like J-Bros Gaming inspired me. Enjoy. So we're just going to need some blue and orange wool, and we already have five blocks of orange. So to the right, we're going to put four. Oh my god. Yeah, why did Minecraft do this? This isn't survival mode. Why'd you have to make it hard to crush a block? Uh, then, then three, then two, and then two singles. One, two, and then you're just going to put two up. Then directly to the right, meaning not up or down, just directly to the right, you're putting three, and then directly to the left, you're putting eight. Then you're putting one directly below, and to the left, you're putting two. And before I do the next part, we're just going to do the exact same thing on the other side, just flipped. So we got four, then we got three, then we got two, then we got two singles, then we got two up, and then directly to the left we got three, then directly to the right, eight, and then one directly below, two to the right, and then we just connect the two. So is anyone, is anyone else like experiencing this on Minecraft? Like, this should only, you know, be like this for like iron ores or something or like a just anything in survival mode not creative mode that's like it's supposed to be an easy mode basically you can't die so why make it hard but all right we got the first part done at least so we're gonna take right here the two inside ends basically we're gonna build three blocks directly on top directly to the right we're gonna put two then we're gonna put one directly on top and to the left we're putting a uh, two up and then we're going to do the exact same thing for the other side because I didn't really count um, what you do before then or after you put the two up. So now we just connect the two. So I didn't know how much. So I just did each side and then I connected it. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the outer ends or just the ends and Directly on top, we're going to put three, and then directly to the left, we're putting four, and then we're putting one directly on top of that. And then to the left, we're putting nine or two up nine times, and that's exactly what we're doing for the other side, too. And once we do that, then we're going to connect the two ends. I didn't, I, I kind of learned from my last video, you know, what was my last video again? It was San Francisco, yeah, yeah, I kind of learned from my last video that, uh, Either you count or find another way if you're not going to count. So that's why I did this. Also, I'm currently doing this tutorial on a bus, which is why um, I'm cutting up into different parts. Like, I didn't really want to... Uh, I, I couldn't, like, draw it out. and I But I didn't want to just look at it, see it unfinished, or just just barely starting out so I wanted to just get as much done so I split it up and that's why you see two different parts or like four four different parts okay now we got nine and then we're just gonna connect Okay, so now, sorry for the awkward silence, nothing wrong with your volume, but right next to the part where we put one directly on top before we put the two up nine times, right next to that, we're going to put uh, directly on top, eight, and then directly to the right, three, then directly on top of that, three, and then just build directly to the left until you reach another orange block. And that's exactly what you do for the other side. This is a completely symmetrical logo f horizontally vertically it's not of course but uh horizontally it is 
And that definitely helps because I don't want to explain it again. Oh, also, I'm realizing that the next part is the easiest and less, least time-consuming part. So for this part, you see this little bridge here below on the bottom part of the A. You're going to make sure that to the left and right, there's going to be two blocks uh, at, after each edge. So you're going to build up four blocks and then delete the bottom three. And make sure that there are two blocks to the left and right of each endpoint. Now, from each endpoint, you're going to build one directly on top, and then to the left and right, you're just going to build singles until you reach the top. And then all you have to do is just color the logo in. So I'm pretty sure you know based on the logo what you have to color in and what not to color in. But just to be clear, in blue, you're going to color that, that, the inside of the A, but in, inside the triangle, and down there, don't. All right, so that's the Auburn logo. I appreciate you all for... Um sticking around and for all that we're waiting for this video because you know i think i had healthy amount of people that visited my san francisco giants short video that was like full video in the comments had like 350 something so for all that we're waiting for this video i'm sorry that it took so long uh mixed between school and uh doing this video uh took some time but glad i got it out to you see ya